Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more MTG Arena. I thought I'd attempt to do this again after a long time of not streaming this game. But I want to see what, how it is now. Let's just get right to it. See how long it takes for me to freaking start dropping frames. Already dropping frames. Great. And here we go. A terrible first hand. And a decent first hand. Turn exponential growth. Actually, the only card I can play is Howling Moon. That's a pretty terrible card, all things considered. I'm just going to turn the audio down a bit. Dude, now I can play the Territorial Scythe Cat. But yeah, I finally managed to get this thing actually working. Forest. Oh, I'm dropping frames again. Hopefully it's not too bad. At this point I'm just going to fight through the dropping. Although I'm freaking turning the audio down even more. That ought to be better. Weaver of Blossom versus Blossom Werewolf. Pray for land next turn. No attack. The stream's not going too badly, actually. Oh. I am doomed. Unless I draw the right card. Hound Tamer. No attacking yet. Let's see if I were to do this, whether I would... Oh, what is that? Wait, what? Hasten to Oh, no. I might actually be dead.
Sacrifice that guy, I guess. Of course now I draw it. Control from the block, you may return it to its owner's hand. Let's start with Dormant Grove. No attacking, I need to hold the fort down. This he's gonna flash back. I'm dead. And there's nothing I can do about it. Well, that was the first game. Ow. I sucked that round. But let's try again. Probably going to be streaming this game a lot over the next few weeks. Until I can actually manage to get a better internet connection. Which I have actually looked into it and it's sort of possible, it's just it will cost a lot of money. Um... Mulligan. Uh, keep it, why not? Bit of lag going on. I know exactly what caused it, though. Oh, good. Enchantments he controls cost one less to cast, so that's not good. I need to get my Amareth out. Okay. I think I can manage this duel. Play this. Vastwood Surge. Oh, I'm getting a bit of lag right now. Grab two forests. I'm just gonna attack and pray you can't kill me in one turn. Because depending on if he attacks with everything, I can just exponential growth. Oh. That sucks. Does Spirit Realm have a... Uh... 
Imareth Desert Doom. Next and end turn. Just end the turn. It's good enough as it is. Doesn't that have Ward 4? Yep. Uh, none of his guys have reach, so I think I just won. And now I'm lagging. Which is really weird all honesty. One attacker. Victory. Oop. The act of winning caused me lag. Which is really weird. I don't know why I lag so badly now. It's gonna be one of the reasons I'm only gonna be having like half an hour streams for a while. So I need to play another 13 green, and I get both of these, and another 19 blue. If I do either of those two, I'm going to end the stream. Because I'm pretty badly lagging, so I don't want to force people to have to watch this. If they don't want to. This I can do. Let's see what my next card is. No, I don't need the blue dragon. Tell and attack. So, what I'm noticing in this game is I only lag occasionally. Wizard class. I hope the quality isn't too bad for this stream. I turned it up a bit. Man about four or greater. Send in pack leader. Draw two cards. And attack. But whoever showed up, thanks for showing up to the stream. 
playing some MTG as I haven't played it in quite a while. It's also one of the few things I could play that wouldn't lag worse than this. Ooh, he's doing a green red. Or no, black red. I thought that was a forest, but no, it's a swamp. Whenever you sacrifice a blood token, you gain one life. Okay. Kind of want to get rid of it now. So... Play a forest. Activate its effect. Now whenever I draw a card, I get to put a 1-1 one, one counter on somebody. And I'm going to attack with just my Raven. I'm going to focus on this Raven this game. You're going to sacrifice the blood token? Uh, oh! Oh, you're going to do the Oni Cult Anvil strat. Ooh. I know that strategy. I've played that strategy. This is effect is... So first off, I'm going to play a forest. And I'm going to... Inscription of Abundance. Put 2 on 1 counters on target creature. Greatest power. And fight 2 on 1 counters. Target player. Target creature. Target creature I don't control. That way he doesn't keep on gaining life, at least. Because if he can't gain life, I could slowly pierce him down. And attack with my 4-4 four, four flying silver raven. And he surrendered, of course he did. I really wish he hadn't, though. Because he surrendered, I didn't get, didn't get a chance to play more cards to try to complete the dailies. And here comes a bit of lag. Although here it's kind of okay if I drop frame because it's me waiting for stuff anyways. game. So I need to play another 11 greens. Let's go. My deck is mostly green with a bit of blue. All I know is if I was a planeswalker, I'd probably be freaking green-centered with a bit of blue and red. Because I definitely wouldn't be anywhere close to white. Although I'm a bit closer to black than white, but not close enough that I'd actually be considered one of the colors that I would use. Ooh. I kind of want to keep it. Despair Sentinel. Okay. 
and my Ascendant Pack Leader. Oh, there's a bit of lag going on. It usually happens near the start of the game. It usually cools off pretty quickly though. No blocking. I'll take the one. Ooh. Blue. Okay, I'm still lagging a bit. I'll probably cool off though within a minute or two. That's usually how the games start out with, with a bit of lagging. You can see it's now it's actually starting to cool off. Howling Moon. Obviously the only wolf is going to get the effect. And attack with my Ascendant Back Leader. It's not enough. Now it's enough to kill me. Did you just play three snakeskin? Oh my gosh. You just freaking did three snakeskin veils in a row. Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice the wolf. I'm not gonna take four damage for nothing. Let's see here. The sage reaches skyward would be. Ornery Foos. And this. And this time I'm just gonna let him hit me. Oh. Okay. I need to kill that now. Thanks for giving me a warning. One sec, drop something. And no block. Let's see, do I want to throw an early pack out right now? I can't kick it right now. The sage reaches skyward. Give me my forests. And attack and kill this, I think. Good. Very, very good. Uh. Oh. I see what your game is. It's a very interesting deck he's playing, and I actually really like it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to forest. I could gnarly pack or I could consuming blob. Uh, grand staff created oozed tokens. Look at the number of 
It costs everything I have if I want to play this. But let's do it. Gives me a blocker. And next turn I get a big guy. Because my Boseju will actually be active next turn. Plus one, plus one for each. Okay, okay. He doesn't have trample. So I can literally just block him with my one, two. See, draw two cards, and then I'll Ranger class, I guess. And not attack. Because I'm thinking deeply. Oh, friend the Fang Bear. Which, that's not actually good. So if I were to play this guy, yeah, that actually works. And then I play wizard class again. No attacking yet. I'm going to go for one big rush, I think. Seems like it'd be the simplest way for me to do this. Just build up a big field and just charge. My Howling Moon is kind of doing good. You gonna attack with the Boring Clex? Oh, if I were to put a 1 1 count on it, I'd put half as many. Forgot that's how you work. Green, Dormant Grove, Marlid Pack, All Attack. Victory. Oh, and I'm now bronze tier two. Uh, those days when I managed to hit gold. Haven't played it in long enough that I'd freaking dropped me all the way back into bronze. I only need to fight two more greens. Let's do this. I'm going to start lagging again here in a second. Because it lags whenever I need to load a new duel. Apologize for that. That's actually a pretty good hand. Keep it. 
Although sadly, I think I'm gonna have to go with the Nylid right away. Ooh, white blue. Oh, never mind. Howling Moon. I like how I grabbed Howling Moon because I'm planning on building a wolf deck at some point, but I never got around to it. That works. And attack. Surprisingly, this might be a quick game. Howling Moon. You're gonna destroy it, aren't you? All attack. Uh, use damage to creature or block creature. Okay, that's fine. Submit zero. I gain two life, and I play an additional land, and I can draw a card. So next time, I can get my freaking hullbreaker for. I am just going to play the Gnarly Colony though. Or actually I need one more land for the Hull Breaker. Ranger. I almost could go the whole way. I was literally like one man off. What's he trying to play? I want to know that. Because he has so much land, but he has three cards in his hand. Unless all of them are land. Next. All attack. Attack my wolf. I'm gonna wait for him to play his mana before I flash in Hullbreaker. Resolve it. Come on, pay some more mana. Give me another guy. Hullbreaker Horror. He has a counter for my Hullbreaker, doesn't he? Oh, and it can't be countered. Why do I keep on forgetting that? Oh, three, three. Now it's a five, five. Oh no. Now I can play stuff off the top of my library. Yes, the wolf. Attack with both the hole breaker and my wolf pet. So if he blocks either of them, he should die. Okay, you're killing the hole breaker. Got it. Okay, what is that? It phases out. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, you're focusing. Bye bye. I win. I'm just wondering if he's going to surrender before I actually get to play my last cards. Yeah, he surrendered. Holtbrick is a really good card. Man, I'm probably only going to be streaming for like an hour today. I'm glad I finally managed to actually get this thing to work correctly. But yeah, I only need to play 11 more blues. And that's probably when I'm going to end the stream. Though I think I'm going to restream this a lot over the next few weeks, like I said. It being one of the few games that doesn't lag like hell right now. Sure, why not? Roiling regrowth is something I'm probably going to actually have to use, sadly. Oh, a swarm shambler. I haven't seen people play that in forever. Like the only person I've seen play a Swarm Shambler is myself. Wait, is that all you can do? What? Seriously, like what? Actually, if I were to sacrifice one and get two... It'd be nowhere near enough anyway, so. Howling Moon. Actually, I probably should have Wizard Class to draw some cards. Oh, he's emergency fixing already? You only got only a one or no? It's a two-two. Wow. You know I'm kind of starting to have a problem. Give me the cards. I'm screwed. I need him to play multiple cards so my Howling Moon activates now. Oh. Thank you. Now it's my turn, it becomes a 4-4. Four, four. No blocking. A second. Iridescent horn beetle. Um, no attacking yet. I have a strategy. This strategy is absolutely horrible, but it's still a strategy. It's literally the point, though, that if he attacks with everything, I have to take it. Otherwise, the strategy won't work. Which absolutely sucks. <laughs>
Yeah, in order for my strategy to work, I'd literally just have to take the damage. Yep. And then I play another island. My iridescent horn beetle. And I can't attack. Damn it. Oh, come on. I'm dead. I'm just going to hit him then. But yeah, that was a really good deck he was using, I guess. I thought he was using blue for a second there, but that's because he used this card. Ow, this is gonna hurt a bit. You see, that's what happens when you mess up in the order you play your cards. You end up getting just destroyed. But actually, how many more times do I have to play? 11 more blue cards. Okay. I actually like how the lag is kind of like stopped at this point. Who's that guy? Oh, I actually need the mulligan. That sucks. I'll keep this. Screw it. Bye bye, ooze. Why am I getting only blue mana? Oh, it's a red, white. That's easy rush. Sword of the Realms. Oh no. Like literally, oh no, what what's going on? Oh, damn! I I need the blue, I need the green mana now, like ASAP. I need one green mana, and my Bosage would give me enough to play everything else. Oh, he's gonna sword of the realms to it. Or are you gonna just you're just gonna destroy my guy and then equipped? Okay. Yeah, I'm dead. That's literally me just dying from not drawing mana of the right color, and now I'm liking again. Um, I'm speechless, honestly, with how this game went.
I played a single creature, so I need to play another ten. Let's try again, I guess. It hurt I wanted blue, but I didn't know what blue I wanted, apparently. Oh, that's a lot of weird, I think. But yeah, the one person who showed up to the stream, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, even though I have quite a bit of lag. It's really nice to at least know that somebody's watching. Okay, I'll keep this. Just because this will work better. Because this is a draw two, this is a draw two. Plus I go first so I get the mana advantage. Oh, I'm lagging again. Come on. Yeah, that was quite a bit of lag right there. Activate Behold the Multiverse. And it still only gave me blue. Where's my freaking green? Seriously, where's my freaking green? That is still blue. There's the green. Ascension pack leader. Oh, he's going to destroy it. Immediately. Be better, because otherwise I'm going to freaking tendril his hobgoblin. Which doesn't sound right when you say it like that, does it? And this is... Okay, that's five. I might actually want to go... wait, how many types do I have? Okay... Okay then, I'm going Consuming Blob then. Oh wait, I can't summon Consuming Blob. I can't besage you either, otherwise I'll just die. Toski. Yeah, I'm in that awkward place right now where I can't really do much without dying. He didn't read that my guy is indestructible, did he?
and gain trample. Okay. I'm still freaking dead. Oh, bad move. Because I'm going to kill one of his hobgoblins. Oh wait, I'm going to take 8 damage. That's bad. He's now reading the indestructible part. I have 3 life. I am screwed. Unless I get the best draw of the day, apparently. Consuming Blob. And Toski is forced to attack is the problem. See what card I draw. So next turn I have to devouring tendrils and hope I draw a monster. I'm praying at this point that I draw the right cards. Because, yeah, I have an uh, instant and a creature. If I could have thrown a land in there right now, I would. I have to block both of them, sadly. Otherwise I just die. I think I'm still gonna just die. Devouring tendrils. You. Destroy you. Besager reaches skyward. attack because I'm forced to freaking attack every turn if he has anything to buff that guy or deal damage to me I die oh Phylath world sculptor oof -da. And this is whenever you ca draw a card, put a 1 1 counter on target creature you control. The fact that this guy is forced to attack is what's good to kill me. Because there's no way right around this. I'm just dead. Oh, I love Firelath World Sculptor. 
he's like one of my favorite cards. And I'm being killed by him. Ironic, isn't it? I only played two blue cards. I need to play another eight next turn. Or next game. Yep. I'm just gonna kill this plant. At least the plant's dead. I need another eight. Come on, good luck. After this match, if I still haven't managed to play eight of them, I'm literally just going to go under my decks and pick the blue deck out. I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting this video up on YouTube either. Ooh, Territorial Scythe Cat. That's a good card. Especially considering I have stuff like Scale the Heights and uh, Ashaya, Soul of the Wild. Because Ashaya, if I play it, makes everything land, so whenever I play a creature, I get it. Although he's really weak to start for a 3 cost. Like he is one of the weakest 3 costs in the game. If you just look at his toughness. But Landfall makes up for it. Here comes the lag. So if you suddenly see some moves just skip ahead. You know why. Wait did it only do the one little bit? Oh, it's a life gain deck. I'm I'm screwed. Of course, that'd be a life gain deck. Wait, did he not have a card he could play? This card right here is gonna save me. Territorial Scythe Cat. Oh, he has a counter. Or he's lagging really badly. But my spinning wheel kick is going to destroy some stuff next turn. Yeah, attack me with the three. Bring it. No blocking. Actually, if I were to do it the other way, I might be able to get two. You know what? Let's do it a bit risky. Put a 1 1 count on Territorial Scythe Guy, and let me draw another card. Which will give my guy another boost. And then I'll play Arcane Investigator. And then I attack with the Scythe Cat. For five. Oh, 
Oh no. So I'm praying for one lamp. And now it's time to sacrifice the investigator. And I'm still going to take a single damage. Yes. Very good. Spinning wheel kick. With a value of two. Sorry, creature I control. Destroy this guy. And the unicorn. Oh, I'm lagging a bit again. I apologize for that. And attack. Or six damage. Ooh, I'm lagging a lot right now. Of course, you drew another one. back to where we started. So I bought myself a single turn. Good to know. And I'm lagging really badly now. So I, this will probably Territorial Scythe got the second one. Behold the multiverse. Let me draw two cards after scrying two. Done. And here we go. Yeah, I really apologize for this lag I just got that I just got hit by. I'm playing the gnarly colony now just for defense. An attack with the territorial scythe cat that's a seven six now. With trample. He dies next round. Like it's not even a question at this point, he will die next round. So they're gonna have the exponential growth and the sager reaches skyward. I'm still lagging a bit right now, but I think it's mostly gone. So he gets to choose what card he's going to draw. But he only has a two mana left. Which my scythe cat's gonna have something to say about that. Here, take the gnarly colony. I put it in here just for that.
Now sh the question is, should I besage you? I could besage you and then one. So double it one time. Yeah, that's the safe thing to do. I'll play it a bit safe this time. Just in case he has something to counter, like my guys or something. Exponential growth, the value of one. And I have an eight seven and an eight three. Oh my gosh, an eight three. That's so weak. Yes, yeah, so so weak. Don't time out the clock. Take your beating like a man. Aha, uh -huh, I knew you had something. Oh, oh damn. No, no, eight, nine. He has nine damage. Okay, draw a good card, please. So first I need to do this, and then the consuming blob. He has a counter. I am dead if he has a counter. Druid class. Well, I actually don't have uh, an enchantment in here. Might play an additional land. Now multiply my blob. Does it just get trampled and pay or haste? She has haste and this creature's power to control. Okay. It's actually a close game. He attacks with this guy, I destroy it. If he attacks with any single card, I'll destroy it. It's worth it to destroy Trelasara. Two blockers. Which is six damage. So if you can increase it in any way, they'll both die. But next turn I get my Boseju. And I can then use my Druid class to get another land to throw a land on the battlefield and smack you with it. Thank you. Druid class activate. 
Uh, I'll make an island. Next, all attack and victory. Nice. I don't think I played enough blue though, so I'm gonna go for a pure blue deck next round. Also known as the last round. What card did I get? Lunar Rejection. Wolf or Werewolf. Okay. So, where's the scroll? Oh, right there. I need a pure blue. There you are. And this is going to be the last game of the day. But we haven't got too bad of lagging today. Still much more than I would like. Because I preferably like zero lag. And I'll, I'll keep these. Range of the Drown. Oh, he has a very low cost, I think. Yep. Reject. You're not welcome here. Reject. You're not welcome here either. Oh, now is it my turn to be rejected? I should have done that. Submit zero. I will be attacking though. I don't care if you have something to just stop me. Oh, are you gonna kill me with freaking fish? Knives, okay. Can't be blocked. There's fish that can't be blocked in this game. That's wonderful. Yeah, I'm being hit by fish. Oh, I'm lagging again. Uh, 
You know what the best thing is? Mind Flare. Okay, stop lagging. The stream is almost done. Does it last like another... Oh, I know why I might be lagging a bit. Gonna have to give the reason a bit of my mind after this stream is over. I think it's literally the last stream of the day. Oh, you gonna flash back immediately? So if I were to play the 5, he'd no longer be able to play guys with a number of 5. And the one I'm going to target is one of the fish. Because that just straight up deletes them. Well, I think I've played enough blue actually now. The lag's starting to even out now. A bit. And then what I'm going to do is... Foretell. An attack with my Mind Flayer. Go Mind Flayer, you're useless since you didn't manage to brain control anybody, so go and die. So we're going to trade, basically. Okay. Can't play anything with a manager value of 4. I should have played a 5. lifelink and it can't be blocked that's great for me invoke the winds I shall steal your fish And then next, everything's going to smack this guy.
everything because I'm not giving it even the chance of surviving. Thank you. Startle. Now you get minus two, minus zero. So you're gonna die, but you know you're gonna kill me. Wait, how did it survive? Mentor's Guidance. Which... Done. Yeah, I'll take it. I want it. Now I'm going to draw a card. Done. I'm gonna play this card. The Arcane Investigator. So can I play cards at the cost of two or three? And next. You were going to smack you. Wait. I'll attack this guy again. Because for some reason I don't trust it. Next. I'm lagging again. Oh, the audio was dead. Like the game audio just died. That's bad. I play M. Yareth, Desert Doom. In an attempt to get this match over with quickly. Considering my full freaking game audio just died on me. I'm going to counter the Valorous Stance. All attack him. Four attackers, yep. And turn. And you can't play anything with a cost of five or three. You got a two. She immediately has to discard. Sucks to be him. I'm just gonna immediately dragon turtle. So 
so I could win this quickly. I'm off, I think. Five, fourteen damage, damn it. I win next turn though. Just need to get there quickly because I'm literally dropping to like 50 kilobytes a second at points. Why? How do I get to kilobytes per second? My internet should be megabytes. This is ridiculous. Yeah, thanks for watching the stream, everybody. I'm not even going to bother doing anything, I'm just going to attack. I have enough counters in my hand if he tries to do anything. Yeah, it was going really good, but then this match near the end just started tanking. Like, the audio freaking died on that match. There, finally. And there's no way I didn't play enough blue cards in that match. I played more than 20 in that match, I think. But yeah, that match itself dro increased my freaking drop frames by 10%. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for coming to the stream. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It was a bit less laggy than before. So I'm probably going to be streaming this game quite a bit. But yeah. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.